Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here, and uh, I'm going to do a breakdown of a very, very popular rifle that uh, a lot of you probably got as a first rifle. The Ruger 1022. Mine is completely stock with a wooden stock, and if you notice the shine on it, it's because I treated the wood stock with my favorite product. Ballastol. Ballastol. There we go. Still working on this lighting stuff, but here you go. Ballastol lube. Okay, so anyway, I figured I'd, I, um, you know, do a little breakdown on this gun. Because a lot of people have them, and they're real hardy. And you can fire away on this thing and, you know, basically just clean the bore, and that's it. But just in case you wanted to take it down, I find it helpful to be familiar with your guns to be able to break them down and know the components and be able to, you know, field strip them. Because it's important to eventually have the guns uh, broken down and cleaned thoroughly. So I've learned that from watching videos from, you know, my friends on YouTube. Uh, and, uh, and so I was inspired to do that because... The, the friends that I have don't have any breakdown videos or anything on 1022s because those guys are like big time with their Kimbers and Sig Sours and Glocks, Springfield XDs, you know, AR-15s, AK-47s. I just have probably one of the funnest, most inexpensive rifles, long guns to have, the 1022. So, this will just be a, a quick breakdown. It's very simple. There's a takedown screw right here, okay? Right here, actually, for the barrel band. And there's one right there. And that's all there is to it. Now, an important thing to note about this, when you take this apart, don't do what I did by trying to pull this, tr uh, you know, by trying to pull this housing up without considering the safety on here. See how it sticks out down here? If you try to pull it out, it's going to grind into the wood stock here. So what you'd want to do is kind of go halfway like that so that the buttons on either side will pass freely through the stock of the gun. Okay? So, see there? So you want to make sure that it's not like that or else it's going to hit that wood stock. See that? And if you go the other way, well, can't do it right here now, but just try to make it halfway so that it passes through. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here we go. 1022. First, I'm going to make sure that it's unloaded. Okay, there's nothing in here. Actually, I guess the first thing you do is take the magazine out. So I'll just take it right here. Magazine will pop right out. Magazine will pop right out. Okay, standard 10 round magazine. This thing's empty. Set that aside. Pull back the bolt. There's nothing in there. Okay. Okay, now, first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and point this camera down so that you can see what's going on here. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Hopefully that's a good view. Okay, let me know if you don't if you can't see it very well. Just kidding. Ballast off. Okay. Product placement. Okay, so get my knife out of the way. Alright. In, in order in the interest of saving time, I went ahead and I did a little bit of cleaning on it already. I've got a few of my little Q tips here. Now I know people will say, why are you using Q tips? Because the cotton will come off and get all over the place. You're right, but that's part of being careful, okay? You can use uh, patches, old t-shirts, things like that. Uh, things that are lint-free. And, you know, they, they work just as well. So, anyway, uh, if I could find my... Oh, there we go. Sorry. Standard screwdriver. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart the barrel band here. So, just go ahead and take it like so. Very easy. You can just loosen it up. 
and just take it out by hand. Okay. All right. And carefully slide that off, taking care not to hit the barrel. Okay. Now, just lay this thing upside down like so. We'll just loosen this bolt right here. Now you'll be unscrewing this part forever because it seems like it's, you know, it'll unscrew from from something out back there, but then the actual gun stock has another set of, of uh, threads that you have to pass through. So you have to pass it through two sets of threads. Okay, there's that. Now notice the difference in size. Okay, this is for the barrel band right here, the smaller one. This is for this, you know, the, I guess the trigger housing bolt, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, taking care to make sure that that safety is halfway between. Okay. Take a look at that. And on some of these, you know, it'll be a tight to get out of here. So I guess the best way to do it is to hold it here and just kind of pull on it. like this just to get it started and then take your hands here on the on the safety buttons and just kind of hold it center while you pull this out and make sure it, well that was kind of soon I was going to show you just make sure it passes through just like so now if you notice I made that mistake see that bump right there uh, see that notch right there that was from because I didn't, you know, take care of the safety button here. So, so there's your stock. That's it. Okay. I won't worry about the butt plate, you know. Don't worry about that. So I'll set that aside. So what you're left with is this. Okay. Now, there are some set pins in here to further break this down. If you see here... There's two of them. There's two smaller ones. One's right here. The other one's right there. Okay? All you do is push them out. Make sure they go in and out the same direction. And it's easy to take out. Just take the screw from your from your barrel, uh, barrel band and just push it. It came apart this way. Let me show you this way. Just take it and push it out, just like so, okay? See that? All right? And just push it, see? How it goes there, very easy. And just push it, okay? See? The pins are already coming out. Now make sure, when you do take this out, it may not be necessary, but I like to make sure that they go in and out the same direction, so pull one out like so, pull the other one like, like that, and I just lay it like that. And I know that they're going to go in the same way. That will free up your trigger housing. So I got to do, see it's already loose, pop it out just like that. There's your trigger housing. There's your breakdown. I'm not going to break this down further. Um, I'm not that advanced yet. Maybe I will in a future video. I'd have to read the manual and play around with it more. But what I did here is I just took my Q-tips and little bits of patches and just ran it through with Ballastol. Let the Ballastol soak in for several minutes. And then I wiped it out and cleaned it up. So uh, you just want to make sure that your trigger housing is clean. Lube it up a little bit, slight, you know, slightly with Ballastol. And, you know, it's good to go. All right. There's nothing special about this. Just there's no resetting of anything. Just make sure that this part right here doesn't come out and lay back like that. Make sure it is in that little groove there, okay? There we go. Alright, so, there's your trigger guard, trigger housing. Now inside here, I just cleaned it out, same thing, it's got um, cotton swabs, cleaned out the inside, you know, and also I made sure I pulled this bolt back so I can clean up in, under here as well, okay? So, I just ran patches, ballastol, cotton, 
right through here. Nice smooth action. And I just basically wiped it all down. So that's really about it. Then when you're done, make sure that trigger housing is all put together, keeping sure that this piece is in the groove still. It remains in there. Should be just like that. Okay. Lay it in there, proper direction. Line up your holes. Okay. And remember what I said about these pins. Same way in, same way out. So I'm going to do here, kind of jiggle it and see, it'll go in just like so. Very simple. I get the other one here. See that? Should line up and go in just like so. Very simple. And you can just take your stock. Now I went ahead and took this apart, I took the butt plate off, I treated it, there was raw wood on the end of here. So, like a good boy, I took my ballast stall and I treated the end of the naked wood. I treated the whole stock too, that's why you got this nice little sheen on here, this nice shine. I also treated the inside of the raw wood with ballast stall. Just to waterproof it, just to treat it, make the wood nice. It was already nice, but you know, anyway. Now, same thing, reverse order. You want to make sure that your your safety is halfway in. You may want to hold on to that while you put it to back together. So you just lay this on the table like that, okay? And you're going to put your stock right on top of it. You're just going to line it up, taking care to, to look at everything here. And you should go in just like so nice fit see then the first thing you want to do take the larger of your pins of your set screws here you're going to put it right in here you're going to do this the reverse way remember this was the last bolt to come out so just kind of hand tighten it you just want to snug it just a little bit you don't want to make it too tight you don't want to off kilter anything and then we'll take our barrel band making sure that the holes are you know down well down on the gun but up since you're putting it together right here alright snaps into place like that now a special note on this As a matter of fact let me show this to you you'll notice on this band if you take a close look this hole is bigger than that hole okay the reason is because the bigger hole is going to house the threads. The smaller hole will allow this skinnier portion to come out and protrude. So you want to make sure, if you're doing it the wrong way, if you put this in the small hole here, it'll start threading right away. And it will not tighten because the threads are on this clasp and not that. What this is going to do, if you put it in the right way, it'll pass all the way through. The threads will pass all the way through and start threading on this part to actually tighten this band, okay? So you'll know if you got it in backwards. So here we go, I'll just put this back on. I like to hand tighten everything first because I don't like to have the screwdriver on there all the way. So now I can tighten this one down since I have the other set screw in. Now I can tighten this one down. Okay, here we go. Alright, so. Oh, the safety's on. There we go. <coughs> Got the. There we go. There's our basic strip down and disassembly of, of the Ruger 1022. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll have more later, okay? Take care of yourself and uh, God bless.